Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with an Allure Beauty Box unboxing. This is the April box. I believe it costs $15 a month, but TBH, I really don't know. I don't remember. I just actually canceled it because I haven't been super impressed with it. I don't know if I'm getting the May box. I don't remember if it was charged before I canceled. There's a lot of I don't knows, um, but I wanted to go ahead and film this with you anyways because I know some of you do like a Lord Beauty box or you want to see something a little bit different than just Itsy as far as beauty subscriptions go. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and film the unboxing. So I took the lid off and this is what it looks like. There's a little magazine in the front of it and it just tells you like all the different products that are inside. Um, then there's some tissue paper. You open the tissue paper up and all the products are inside. So the first thing that I have is from Thrive Cosmetics and it's a lip filler lip liner semi-permanent micropigment technology in the shade Felicia or pomegranate. I don't know, it says both. Um, and it has a built-in sharpener for precision application. I don't use lip liners typically unless I'm using like an orange shade, um, but it does look like a really nice color. It basically matches like the color on here is the color that it is. I'm probably gonna pass it on though because like I said, I just don't use um, lip liners and I have a couple of the clear ones from Urban Decay so if I wanted to do like a brighter shade then I could just use that versus using um, a lip liner that's really just gonna sit in my collection but that is nice I know Thrive is an awesome cosmetics company so that's really cool that they included that and it's full size next up we have a car skin balance toner I just used an oil from them and it was okay I didn't really notice anything great with it um, but facial oils are always nice and I use toners morning and night so I am really excited about this the bottle is glass and it looks really really fancy um, and it's just a toner so that will be really cool I don't know if it says anything special about it it's organic clean cruelty free Tibetan inspired beauty it's non-sticky it um, I guess is scented with rose and orange blossom I'm actually allergic to orange blossom so hopefully I can use this um, shake well before use pour onto hand and gently pat into skin after cleansing and before oils so I don't know I'll have to do some more research on that but I do love toners and I'm almost out of the one I'm using uh, next up we have from Louie Louis by Jean Xiao. It's a balanced, hydrating, and calming serum. Apply a thin layer after cleansing. Use morning and night. Discontinue use if rash, irritation, or redness occurs. Awesome. Um, so it's a skincare. It's it's serum. I just don't know how to pronounce the brand, but it looks pretty nice. Like it's got like a nice um, consistency to it. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, we have from Ava NYC the main magic multi-benefit 10 in 1 primer. I haven't used this specific one I don't think unless they change the packaging, but I love Ava NYC They make great hair care and I have used a spray from them and it is incredible So I am excited for this. It's for detangling, frizz fighting, heat protection And it has argan oil, sunflower seed oil. It's 100% vegan, no sulfates, no parabens, no phthalates um and I'm excited for that. I've been trying during this stay home order to mostly just wear my hair in its natural state, which is a lion's mane. Um, but I woke up this morning and it was horrendous, so I had to straighten it. And it's just so humid and hot today that it was totally straight and now it's got all these waves and curls coming back in. So that's thrilling. Um, but moving on, I have from Sika Pear Derma Green Solution Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. Oh, I actually just heard about this. Um, I guess it's like green in tone. Yeah, and it's it balances out like color. If you have redness, green cancels the redness. Um, so that's cool. I also have from Victor and Rolf. It's the Flower Balm Perfume. Obviously not the full size because that's ridiculously expensive. But we do have a really 
nice size of it. Look at that. It's in this cute little bottle like you would get at Sephora. That's cute. I do like the scent. I'm not a big fan of floral scents, but this one I do enjoy. I remember when it first came out and everyone was obsessed with it and I went to Sephora and I smelt it and I understood why everyone was obsessed with it. And then the last thing we have in here is from Pure Lease and I'm really excited about this because um, I love this line of theirs. It's their watermelon line it's an, and it's an energizing sheet mask. So I have the scrub and I have like their serum too. So I'm very, very excited for this. It's for moisturizing and soothing for all skin types, normal, oily. Um, and it's just a nice sheet mask. So that's everything that I received. I know last month I didn't seem super excited about it and in February, but with this box now I'm kind of like, why did I cancel? Because I'm excited for this. I'm excited for the toner, potentially. I'm excited for the serum. I'm excited for the the hair thing. Um, I'm excited for the Flower Bomb perfume. This was really cool, even though I'm not gonna use it because I just don't use lip liners. The only thing that I don't really care for as much is the the Tiger Grass color correcting treatment from Dr. Jart because I don't deal with redness. Um, so yeah, now I'm kind of like, why did I cancel? So we'll see. Maybe May will come. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and maybe I'll resubscribe. Who knows? But let me know your favorite beauty subscription down below because I would like to check a few more out. So yeah, let me know down below and I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. I'll paint an invitation to let you in